Yo, I'm back. Cheeve, that shit disconnected. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. Wi-Fi over here is tripping. All right, so we're down to the uh, to the engine right here, as you guys can see. That's dope right there, the chassis. And you get a side view. I like how they added these uh, those little stars right there. Those are those are cool. Gives you that old school vibe. Bam. All right, let's flip to the next page. Ooh, here's the excitement right here. It all begins. I hope everybody's uh, back. I apologize for the uh, disconnection there of the internet, but here we go. NNL West, January twenty fifth. 2020 Santa Clara, California. This was earlier this year right here. This is this was dope. This was a fun time. And um, let's get started. So the first car, check that out right there. That's so cool right there. Man, that's nice. All right, let's get close right here into that detail. Imagine if somebody really made this in real life. That'd be nuts. Look at that bottom right there. Man, shout out to him. Things nice. Let's move it along down here. We have Jamal Bradford's 1990 Caddy. Some lower patterns right there. Over here on this side, this is interesting. Check that out right there. Man, that's so cool. Greg Plummer. That's cool, man. Good job. Yeah, and who's this? This person up here. This is one of the homies, George Ramos, all the way from New Jersey, who made the flight all the way from the East Coast to the West, California. The Herbie. Very famous car. Dan, check that out. That stance is beautiful right there. That's dope. Right next to him, we have the homie Michael Orth right over here with his 1949 Ford kit by AMT. That's nice. That's nice right there. Then uh, down over here, we have... Um, Mark Grove, here's a cool Toyota, and also uh, Victor Robles is a nice 39 Chevy, Finest Creations Model Car Club right here, and uh, he, he also made the drive out from the Southern California up to Northern California, so that was cool to see those guys up there, and um, this bottom one right here is one of my cars that I'm super happy and just tripping out that it, it it's on here. I'm like, what the heck? Uh, one of my friends told me about it, so I had to pick up the mag. I was like, damn, that's cool. But um, but yeah, it, it's cool just to be you know on the same page with all my friends up here. Such an honor. That's awesome. So let's move on to the next. So that was the the Hudson Hornet wagon uh, that was done. And um, see the next one over here. Who do we have? This is uh, Thomas Lindsay. This is dope right here. Uh, Ravel 41 Willis. That's dope. Look at the back right there. It looks so dope. Thanks, George. Thank you for that. Um, over here, we have another homie, uh, Matt Reynolds. This is so cool. A Bozo car. Aoshima kit. Yeah, it's cool that I made it to the mag I, rare, I very rarely see um bozo cars inspired from japan in magazines out here so that, that's cool that they added that um another familiar person and a friend in the model car community is uh john teresi right here the very talented john how cool is that the little red <laughs> diora that's dope Man, he did a he just blows it away all the time with his cars. Over here we have Doug Reynolds. 
It says here he came all the way from Texas to compete. That's dope. Came out. Then we have some couple of interesting. Well, this, this is a cool little diorama right here, like a photo shoot. And then over here, we have Batman and Robin. That's really cool right there. All the way from uh, Dan, Colorado. That's cool. Ron Ramsey. That's nice. Then over here, we have Steve Hayden. Steve Hayden again. Nice, man. 62 El Camino body. What? I don't think I've ever seen a 62 El Camino before. That's nice. I mean, I've seen the 59. That's probably as close as to that. It looks totally different, but I'm, I'm digging that. I'm digging that right there. That's dope. Then right over here, who's it? Um, here we have a uh, 37 Chevy Coupe. Howard Nines. It's pretty nice right there. Oh. A lot of a lot of cool cars in these pages. Some nice bridge. Check that out. That, that's interesting. Clean. Big rig right there. This is uh, from Anthony Reels right here with his uh, some 4x4 action right here. This is dope. Toyota. Some HOK. Some House of Color Black. Down here we have some more homies. Dave McGowan right here with his uh, diorama piece. Dave lives not too far from where I'm at. We're probably about 30 minutes away from each other. So shout out to him. Congrats on that feature. Another homie, Wes Salazar, who made the trip as well from far, all the way from Missouri. Shout out to him. Very skillful, amazing model builder right there. And um, he, uh, I like how he's, he's very diverse. You know, he um, does a lot of different styles with his builds, not just sticks to one. Um, reminds me of, like, you know, it's like, it's like uh, Vision 124. He switches it up all the time. He gives takes. Pretty pretty dope. Then we have down here, uh, or up here, sorry, uh, Dennis Martinez. Then on this side, Nick. Who is that? I wanted to say stage, but uh, Stegman's ice cream. That's cool. Oh, Ivan, what's up, Ivan? I just I just seen you right now. Dang, popping up, man. Thanks for tuning in, Ivan. Um, that's cool right there. This one's from uh, Patrick. Then uh, right over here we have one from Al Camacho. This is dope. 1962 Corvette Gasser, super clean right there. Look at that. That looks mean right there. That's dope. Uh, right down here, we have uh, a couple of Ford trucks, 1956. These are from Jerry Sugar. Check that out right there. Bam, you got that tank back in those tanks right there, just chilling. Bam. Oh, I just realized it's the same truck, just different angles. <laughs> For some reason, I had me fooled. And, ooh, look at this customer here. Jerry Sugars. Sugars, not sugars. Damn, that's dope. Like those colors. Damn, look at that. Alex Ramirez, one of the homies, also from up north. His 1987 Buick by Ravel. This is nice right here. Um... Shout out to Alex for throwing that pizza night uh, the night before the uh, the event. That was dope. There was a lot of heads that were there. We were we were hoping that this year, next year, there was going to be the NNL, but obviously that got canceled. It's not going down. Um, check out this one from uh, Jay Komodo. 
1962 T-Bird right here. This is so dope right here. Let me go back to the one above, William. Just I feel like I just kind of skimmed through it kind of quick, but this is dope right here. This is, this looks nice. Man, that's that's nice. Yo, Ivan, I ain't even working on anything right now, dude, unfortunately. As far as model builds, I'm working on some other stuff right now, but give it some time. Uh, maybe January, February, I'll get back on the bench. But right now, I got to, you know, just handle some uh, personal things. The little one already going to be uh, three three months next week. So once I free up some time, definitely, man, I'll, I'll keep you posted. This is interesting right here. Check this out. This is dope. The truck right here. Bam. That little case and the skirt. That's nice right there. I wonder if, uh, I don't know, is this a, a, like a Jimmy Flintstone or a resin or who makes this? I've never seen. See, I wonder if it says any of that info up here. But this is pretty cool. Uh, oh, it's wait. All are die cast. Okay. That's cool. I mean, I know there's always been like an issue between, you know, like plastic and die cast or whatever. But hey, you know what? At this point, like, how dope does that look? Like, there's an, I feel like there's an exception to certain cars that look super dope that you could still uh, bring those to life and give your take with the paint job and whatnot. But uh, this is from John. I, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the last name. Sorry. It, <laughs> it, seem, it seems kind of hard. But um, all right, down here we have, um, this is from Jay Komodo, 1962 Caddy. That's beautiful, very elegant. Fill in that right there. And over here we have one from Richard Horton, McLaren. I'm not too familiar with these cars, so I'm just kind of reading off what's on the bottom here. But, um, you know, I mean, we all love cars, so we got to showcase everything that's coming out right now. I mean, exciting times right now with the hobby, especially with all the 3D printing stuff. And everything. What's up, Jonathan? Torres, thanks for tuning in. Um, down over here, we have another car here from Steve Hayden. Check, damn, look at that engine. See how close we can get without it distorting. Man, I wonder how much time that took to put that all together right there. Man, that's crazy. That's pretty dope. So, we know NNL's canceled or whatnot, but are any of you guys going to fly out or just up in the parking lot and just see if you guys can actually, like, set up tables? Imagine that. And if security comes, they just shut it down. Fools get arrested. Nah, I'm playing. You guys aren't going to do that. But, um this out right here scratch building and italian cobra hauler yo what up noko so the lights hit right there check that out right there. that's pretty cool then right on this side get another side angle it's a nice transporter the rear so at this try to cop the magazine if you can Try to get the magazine if you can, if possible. Hey, we miss you too, Ivan. It's been a minute. Here we are, some detailed photos of the uh, transporter. Just so you guys can kind of get an idea of the, the type of work that was involved in building that. This looks crazy right here. Very realistic. I wonder how many years this guy has building models to be able to create all this stuff right here from scratch. That looks so cool right there. Hopefully all that information is in this magazine. I just got to read the articles. I haven't even got to that yet. I just bought the magazine today, got super excited and was like, damn, I got, I got to show this to all you guys. I got to go live. It's been a minute. It's been a while.
Damn. Let's go right here. Got the little shirts right there. Dang. We got the cars. We got the chassis. This guy did it all. We got the wheels, the interiors, oh, sorry, the dashboards, more interiors. That's cool right there. E the stages ready for primer. Dang, that paint. That's dope. Triplets. We got triplets. I know, right? It's on the garage. It's all hidden. Damn, that sucks. We always want to display our stuff, and then they tell us, hey, 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 quita de eso de ahí. Uh-uh. Don't be showing that. You got to put down. Look at this. Tuned up trans kits. That's dope. Ooh. Inspired by local 64. No, I'm joking. Um, that's cool. See, there's a lot of interesting stuff. I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with a lot of this. I've seen these boxes. This packaging before on Instagram, but I, ha I haven't really like dug too deep into it. I haven't gone down like a rabbit hole to really see what what's going on or what's up. But I mean, I see a lot of people using this stuff. It looks dope. Maybe you guys could tell me some history on this later. Uh, this magazine just came out, dude. It's this year. It, um, it just dropped. And earlier I was previewing some uh, of the uh, footage that was captured over, um, from NNL West from earlier this year when we were out there. But yeah, this this just came out. Hobbies. I got the off. Hey, you should go. You should go get it. Uh, and I went ahead and I picked it up. But the future is here. It's the Futura. Is here. Dang. Uh, man, things like this get people excited when you go to a, like a hobby show. Bam, look at all that. People want to buy all this stuff up. I can't really see the price tags, but yeah. So a lot of the kind of stuff you'll pick up over at NNL West that you'll see there. What uh, what what country are they in? Do you know by any chance? Overseas? Are they in Europe? Um, like in the UK or um, like France or Czech Republic? Man, this is all neat stuff right here. Man, this is cool. All right. Um. So now we're going to check out the the kits. 1969 Chevelle hardtop 26 27 bucks pretty much plus tax. I wonder how many of you guys are going to be getting that thing again. All right, we're back. Um here's a cool little layout right here of all the stuff. That's so dope. Hey, thanks you guys for uh, staying with me. I know this thing's been like connecting, disconnecting. I don't know, it's tripping right now. Ooh, let's check this one right here. The Jeep Wrangler Rubicon by Ravel. Twenty four ninety five MSRP. Lifeguard. Damn. That looks nice. That's a that's a nice shot right there. 
man, I was tripping. I was like, man, that body's huge for all these little parts. As you can see, it's right there. They just blew it up. All right. Let's see what's the next one. 70 Corvette. I feel like I keep seeing this all the time. Like, I wonder, like, how many years pass. Like, is it every five years or ten years that they uh, repress a lot of these? Because I know I've seen this kit before. It's cool. You know, I'm not I'm not trying to, like, downplay it. It's cool. Man. Man, look at those decals right there. Yeah, I've seen this one before, too. The Mazda. This is nice right here. The RX-7 2-in-1. Check that out right there. That's a dope one. Ooh, this is one of the ones I'm excited about. That This one came at us. I mean, me personally, I was side-blinded when this one dropped. 1967 Chevrolet Impala Supernatural. Because this one here, there's parts. I would say there's like a couple parts that a lot of modelers that build the 67 lowrider version want. And you pretty much can get them here. So there's quite a little bit of a difference in the tooling from the other versions that they've released. So um, with this one here, let's, uh, let's check that out. <laughs> the decals are trippy. Um, so over here, let's check out the body. So it's a four door, but I mean, you can always, uh, I guess mod it up. So, um, you can just create it into a two door. I want to see someone do that. That'd be kind of a cool challenge, right? There. To, um, maybe that backside right there, fill it in door over shift. It'd be interesting to see this one on the body. That's awesome right there. So it's not, you know, if you don't want to do like a super sport version, throw that on your 67. But let me show you guys the parts that people want. Number one is the hood right there. There you go, Ivan. Ivan said it right there in that bench. Those are the main things. I feel like people are just going to be buying this kit like crazy. Uh, especially if, if they find it at a, a very cheap price, just to, just to grab Jack those parts right there. Um, check all that out right there. Everything that it comes with. Very similar too, because they don't have the SS symbols on them. Yeah, they have the bumper guards. That's true. That's dope. So three things. There's three things that, that are sought after in this. One of the cool things now too is uh, Detail Junkies just released that photo etch um 1967 set that has the phantom grill so i mean you could do a combination of uh you know if you want taking some of these parts combining them with your 67 and then also use that photo etch kit and just man you could create something super dope like definitely a 67s are going to be looking really nice you know like the 64s definitely always, I feel like those always have massive potential and people always knock those out of the park. But um, now with the 67, with all this stuff, accessories and things you have access to, I feel like that one's going to be up there as well. So the next one, we have the 1923 Ford Model T Roadster for uh, all you guys that are fans of the Road Model T, 30 bucks. Here we got the flames. Damn, las llamas. Burn the streets, the streets. Then um, we got all the parts right here to put it all together. Prime, no, not paint. Primer. Sand that thing. Then you paint it, and then you can flake it if you want or whatever. And they clear it and you're ready. Red D. E. Over here, we have more solicitations with some photo photo uh photo etch stuff from detail. Sets uh what is it? The model car garage. 
And then there's also stuff from ProTech. Some info about the IPMS. USA, the large, um, let's try to read it, let's see. America's largest organization specifically for the plastic modeler. That's cool. Dang, 200 local chapters, that's a lot. Sheesh, that's pretty dope. Oh, damn. So these are the booklets, like the journals where you can join. What? Subscription, there you go. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Parts by Parks. That's cool. The, oh, this is another magazine. The best sparklers. Support model car magazine advertisers. Damn, I might have to hit them up. See what's up. Maybe I could get a, an ad on there. I don't know. We'll see. Complete your collection. You could cop all the back issues. I know I have this one in my stash. The 2016. I do got that one. This is like a contest issue. Just full of pages of uh, pictures of cars. But yeah, these are all the back issues. So, I mean, this magazine's been around. For so, this is the uh, Rex spray gun. And I, I really like this ad. This is the first time I ever see this ad here. And there was a time where I was very tempted in buying one of these uh, airbrushes to spray paint and maybe even flake. It could be possible, but let's let's look at this one. This one, the, the MFTG, the top feed right here. This almost looks close enough to uh, like an LPH 80 from my water. But here's one of the things that I thought was cool is the um, optional nozzle kits. So you can pretty much upgrade it. Uh, you know, tradition, not traditionally, but normally a lot of these spray guns, are, they're either like a 0.3 millimeter or a 0.5 millimeter. But one of the craziest thing is, I don't know any other airbrush that offers you the 0.7. That's a, that's a pretty big size right there, the 0.7. Um, and then also the, the fan spray caps too. So you want to get that fan pattern, get better coverage. I personally, if I would get this gun, I would definitely upgraded to the 0.7 millimeter and I probably would take that risk and just try to run flake through it you know I don't know it might get clogged it might not who knows but I try it I'd see what's up um, down over here we have the uh, specifications as far as like the nozzle sizes operation pressure air consumption what well, it, it's a trip because I mean it could operate from 5 to 80 psi I am shooting, I usually do about 18 to 20 PSI. I mean, it varies, everybody that they're with, but that's where I feel more comfortable. But check out that case. This is a dope case, it comes in. And I believe these are about maybe, I'm guessing maybe around 200 bucks. I could be wrong, could be more, but I mean, these are top of the line airbrushes too, Grex. They make some great products. And they got that nice ad in the back right there. This is their uh, their info. Find your dealer. Dang, Grex. 2020 holiday sale. Damn, we got the holidays. Maybe uh, you guys watching this right now, maybe you don't even build models, but you want to buy this magazine because you want to you wanna roll it up. And then you want to stick this into a stocking stuffer maybe. I don't know. But yeah. This is the latest issue of Model Cars Magazine issue 207. Shout outs to, to the homie George for hooking me up with this uh, black backdrop right here. He actually used this at the uh, NNL uh, 2020 for his display. And um, now I'm the proud owner of it. <laughs> but uh, it's cool. It's going to come in handy now because um, I'll, I'll be able to do these, uh, these videos live or whatever. The only thing I need to fix is uh, like this glare in this area because I have a light uh, right up here that's like pointing this direction. I know if I turn, obviously like this, it goes away. So I need to get a little more acquainted with the uh, with the setup. This was just that I wanted to uh, just jump on here and say what's up and show you guys the magazine. It's Friday. Hope you guys are doing good. Here's uh, the cars, transporter, 
Yeah, man, send me some pics, dude. Send me some pics. Um, all you guys, all you guys that are on here, send me some photos. And um, it'd be dope to uh, put together like a little showcase, be a part of the little showcase that I've been putting on. I think it's like every other day uh, I throw them on there. But um, but yeah, guys, thanks for uh, tuning in. Shout outs to Detail Junkies right here. Check them out, detailjunkies.bigcartel.com. He's got a lot of things coming down the pipeline. I mean, he just released a bunch today, and this is all some stuff that's already been out. But um, yeah, definitely um, get get on it right there. Um, let me see where am I going? Page twenty four. So twenty page twenty four is the one that has the the coverage with the NNL West right here. Bam, twenty four. NNL West twenty twenty man. That's dope. I mean, this magazine, you know, is one of the ones I copped. I also pre-ordered Dedicated Magazine. That's going to be coming out soon. And I I, I am planning on going live with the, what other one? Out on the uh, the contest cars by Scale Auto. Um, this is pretty cool. So I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna I'm gonna check out right now. Thanks for you guys for tuning in. Scale Riders, 65 Lokes. Peace out. Have a good night, guys.